What's up guys, welcome back. As some of you already know, my name is Charles, MX Revival, mxrevival.com. And one of today's topics, we are talking about badass, super trick, handmade cone pipes. These are made by my buddy Steve in Canada, Huga Performance, and they are absolutely unreal. I've also got some goodies from No Toil for Your Bike, as well as a brand new MX Parts giveaway. And that's not all, I also have a comment giveaway in this video as well, so stay tuned and don't let your ADHD get the best of you. We'll get to that later in the video. So real quick before we start, we have to do a little bit of housekeeping, two important topics in particular. First order of business, congratulations to last week's winners. Two of you guys won brand new Fathead Race cylinder heads and another one of you lucky bastards won the all-new Billitron carburetor from Lectron and lastly I had a comment giveaway last week for the Sano metal finishing ceramic coatings for your brakes both front and rear there were a lot of really good comments one of them that made me laugh out loud was ride it like a prom queen love it like a mother <laughs> but one of the comments I liked the most was from my boy Benny I wanted you guys to tell me what you were gonna do with Thundercracker when you won the bike and I really loved Benny's answer so Benny congratulations I will get at you for those ceramic coated brakes so our second order of business business a little more serious spammy fake ass loser mother trying to make you guys think that you won the YZ250. I started getting phone calls about this late Monday night, dealt with it all day Tuesday, and I'm still answering calls and emails as of this morning. It is Wednesday now. You guys can also clearly see that the bike isn't done, so these scammers are absolutely stupid. I am, of course, completely disappointed that somebody would go out of their way to try and scam you guys like that, try to get you guys to pay for taxes and fees for the bike, and definitely, worst of all, despite all the hardship it caused and all the comment chasing and all the different things I had to do to flag and report the the page as did you guys. I had to actually explain to a couple of people that they didn't win the YZ250 and that was absolutely heartbreaking. Was not fun at all. At any rate, if you guys have actually entered this contest, I have your name, phone number, email, address, everything. I will never reach out to you in the comments in a super weird and vague way asking you to do anything for me. But thanks to you guys who I've now deemed my death squad, we got rid of that page in about 48 hours. So thank you very much for your help with that. If you guys catch this spammy shit, you can go straight to their page, go to the about tab, click it, then there's a flag icon and then you can report them for impersonation. So thank you very much Death Squad. I did not want to spend any of today's video talking about this but it was a must. All right Death Squad it's time to get into today's video and start talking a little bit more about these badass handmade cone pipes from Hugo Performance of Canada. So check this out my buddy Steve actually hand makes these pipe out of several hand rolled cones made out of steel. Then Steve welds and brazes everything together to create one unbelievable cone pipe. All these pipes are then dyno tuned to prove that they are actually making more power. So not only do they look amazing, but they perform as good as they look. I mean, just check this thing out. Oh my God, so sick. And something else that's really cool is they're actually made out of a thicker gauge steel than most aftermarket pipes. As you can imagine, they're a bit pricey and after all the labor that goes into building them, having a thicker gauge steel is actually really nice for longevity. And so that keeps them a little more robust and of course less damage prone. And it was such a huge relief to be able to actually get a stinger or a silencer for this bike because everything is just wiped out and out of stock everywhere these days. I was able to pick up a Pro Circuit 304 silencer and it looks really good with this cone pipe. And you probably guessed it guys, this is also today's giveaway. Not only was Steve kind enough to weld us up one of these bad boys for Project Thundercracker, but he also went ahead and sent a second one just for you guys. So today you're gonna be able to get your hands on one of these if you've entered to win Thundercracker it will be for a YZ250 identical to this pipe if you've already entered previously you guys are good to go and if you haven't you can visit mxrevival.com get yourself entered maybe cop yourself a cone pipe or one of several other MX parts giveaways I'm doing in every episode and when you hit the website you can check out even more photos of this badass cone pipe I use it on a lot of my builds and we're also the US distributor for Hugo Performance so I've got you guys covered on those all year round and the CR500 cone pipe is my favorite it is a freaking monster more on that build in the future. Anyways, let's mount this bad motherfucker.
Guys, the thing looks insane. Thundercracker is looking more and more like a fighter jet every minute. And actually, if you guys are new and you didn't know what the inspiration for this project was, well, here you go. It's actually modeled out of one of my favorite cartoon characters as a kid. This was one of the Decepticon jets named Thundercracker. He's one of the bad guys. And so next video, you guys are going to see that whole package come together. So Steve-O, thank you so much for being a part of this build. This is a huge level up for Thundercracker. And thank you for sending an extra cone pipe for one of you guys to pick up. Stop sleeping on it, man. I'm telling you. And I'm not even done. I've got more shit to give away today. I reached out to my buddy Ryan Jensen at No Toil just to see if he would be interested in joining the contest and throwing in a couple of pre-oiled air filters for you guys. He got back to me and instead he kicked back five $100 No Toil gift cards for their website, which was completely unexpected and completely insane. Ryan, thank you so much for that. And so yes, this week we're giving away one of those $100 No Toil gift cards. I've already given away two. This will be the third, meaning I have two left. And so when the bike is revealed, I still have a ton more stuff to give away, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and do like a grand finale with MX prizes when the bike is awarded. And so all these guys that are helping me out on this build are actually guys that have products that I use and enjoy. And in terms of the no toil air filter, they're pre-oiled. I freaking love that. Ripping the bag open and the filter is just ready to go. Saves so much time and it's so stinking easy. And when it comes to cleaning these filters, I just wait until my wife isn't looking and I throw them in the washing machine in the house. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been caught yet. Actually, she's well aware of it. Maybe you guys saw that TikTok video I had. It went kind of viral. I'll go ahead and post that link in the description below. People seem to love that video, so check it out when you have some free time. And then something else I didn't really realize until recently is that No Toil also carries these aftermarket air filter cages for your bike. It wasn't until we were working on T1000 in the last bike build series where I realized these actually were produced by No Toil and they are way more thick and way more robust than the stock unit. So not only is one of these going into Thundercracker for you guys, but you can actually pick one of these up on their website any old time or if you win the $100 gift card, you can pick one up that way as well. All right, so now that your bike is bringing in clean air thanks to our No Toil air filters and exhausting burnt fuel and premix like a raped ape thanks to our Huga performance exhaust that leaves us with just one more order of business to conduct and that would be today's comment giveaway so it's the last giveaway in today's video congratulations you made it and today I want you guys to tell me in the comments below what your very first motorcycle or dirt bike was and I can imagine that there are almost certainly great memories tied to that first bike so feel free to divulge as much as you'd like in the comments below I'm gonna go ahead and pick my favorite comment and I'll be giving away a custom set of 3D printed brake line guides, both front and rear from 3DP Moto. You guys may have seen this in one of the previous Thundercracker episodes. They're really cool. You can change the colors of them. They're super flexible. You can personalize the front mount with your race number and or name if you'd like. So have at it. What was your first bike? What do you remember about it? I'm sure there'll be a few good crash stories down there too. My first bike was a 1977 Honda XR75 and it didn't even have an engine in it when I got it. I was about eight years old. My uncle, who was like my father at the time, I think he picked it up at a flea market, I'm pretty sure. He had talked about putting a lawnmower engine in it someday or some way to just make it run and move around. And then one day he actually found the right engine for the frame. Only problem was by the time he actually found the engine and we installed it, several years had passed. And so I was too tall and too big to ride it. I was actually a pretty overweight kid, so I was like, way too big for this bike. And I actually remember drilling and installing my very first UFO replacement rear fender on that bike. That's one of my earliest memories of actually working on a motorcycle. And so the rest is history. As they say, that bike pretty much set the course for the rest of my dirt bike life. I'm now a full-blown addict and you can see where it's taken me. So guys, in closing, thank you to my death squad for crushing that stupid spam page. As I grow, those are gonna most certainly continue to attack us. So just keep reporting them, blocking them, all that. If you still haven't entered to win Thundercracker, the awesome YZ250 we're building for you. You can do so by smashing this little link right here. I hope you enjoyed today's short and sweet episode. Next video is a full reveal. You'll finally get to see everything come together and I could not be more pumped about that. And so guys, until next time, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for joining the contest. Watch out for idiots and I will see you next time.